Yesterday we showed you how Shepherd Air Force Base is doing after this historic winter storm. Yeah, and today PJ Green is taking us to Fort Sill in Lawton. PJ, what were some of the big problems there? Well, Lauren, icy roads, busted pipes, and families having to leave their homes on post were just some of the problems that the fort dealt with. But the main source of damage at Fort Sill was to the school age center. The recent winter storm affected every walk of life throughout Texoma. Military installations like Shepherd Air Force Base and Fort Seal halted all training because of the storm. At the fort, 76 families had to leave their homes because of busted water pipes, but more than half of them have already returned home. Our, our housing partner, Corvius, has done an amazing job with, with getting uh, water and power return uh, to homes almost instantaneously. And for those families that are still displaced, uh, they've been accommodated in, in our local uh, hotels here. While families were helped quickly and soldiers and barracks weren't interrupted too much, the Fort School Age Center, where children are cared for before and after school, had a pipe burst. We had a swimming pool pretty much here. So about two, two inches to three inches of water, depending on where you're at in the building. This is where it started. Okay. Sometime early Thursday morning. After the Department of Public and Works helped clear the water, the center staff got to work, and the center welcomed kids back on Tuesday. We worked as a team and everybody, it was all hands on deck yesterday and this building went from looking like a disaster site to what you see now, even the floors being buffed and polished. So it was a team effort. I'm very proud of the staff. Command Sergeant Major Russell Blackwell says the fort responded well to the storm and the Department of Public Works did a great job of assessing damage and clearing roads. He credits the frozen weather in October for getting everyone prepared. Uh, and we learned a lot of lessons from that uh, so that when the deep freeze hit this time, uh, we, we were far better prepared, I think, than what we would have been had we not gone through that in October. People on Fort Seal coming together and showing that proper preparation breeds proper performance. Now, Blackwell also says contractors are beginning work on private homes, and that could take around 60 to 90 days, but overall, officials don't think families will be displaced for that long. Well, that's good news mm -hmm. right there. Okay, PJ, thanks so much.